Learn everything about audit and assurance examination in this video. We are going to be discussing paper pattern, what to expect, how to study and uh, some insider tips. So please stay tuned till the end. I am Megha Vinsali, Indian Qualified Child Accountant and ACCA. Now to move on with uh, what is the paper pattern and the strategy you should be adopting. Uh, so typically the paper is divided into two sections. Your section A has three case study based questions. Now these case study based questions are completely MCQ. So it's very very easy to answer these uh, questions. You have to just select A, B, C, D and then um, it's done. Uh, obviously you need to apply uh, the scenario and then answer the question but the best part is there is no negative marking so this 30 marks of the paper is very very scoring even if you don't know the answer please attempt to it in the examination moving on to section b section b has three questions one question comes for 30 marks and two for 20. now typically most of uh, the common areas that are tested in the examination are internal control one question definitely comes for 20 marks of internal control so please please study this really well then you have your audit risk planning evidence procedure all these four topics put together typically comes for good 40 to 50 marks in the paper so again do this really really well so you have these four five areas which if you focus on uh, you can easily get uh, 50 on 70 in the rest of the paper 30 marks mcq and you focus on these topic will make your paper very easy in case you're looking for audit classes where you can understand audit really well not just muck it up and uh, also where you can get good amount of writing practice then Megha Vinsali classes is the place for you. We have a live online classes for audit and the batch is running on weekends so if you have a busy schedule it is most suitable and ideal for you. Do reach out to us if you want to enroll into audit classes. So I have been teaching ACCA for about 4 to 5 years now uh, and I have taken a lot of classes for audit and assurance and in my audit and assurance class uh, we conduct uh, audit in the most practical manner so I give you a real life company and we perform audit on that so that makes the subject very easy to understand and uh, also the examination very easy to pass now that is the main key with audit okay please do not mug up the audit paper you are not going to pass the examination you have to understand uh, why you are auditing uh, what is the audit procedure what evidence you are collecting why are you collecting some document why are you performing certain procedure if you understand audit uh, because you have done a particular audit then the paper gets very very easy to pass and now what else you need to keep in mind is uh, whenever you are sitting for your examination look at what are the syllabus changes because there is a very high probability that question come from syllabus changes. Now if you are looking at the December attempt uh, the important syllabus changes there is an emphasis on ethics so please focus on your ethics topic there is a high probability that there is an ethical question that comes in the examination. And the second topic which is mentioned in your syllabus change is auditing around automated tools. So how do you audit in a computer environment, how do you audit in software, all of those uh, are there in this topic and that could be tested in your examination. So focus on the syllabus change, uh, focus on understanding audit rather than mugging it up because that is what will help you pass the paper. I have discussed the paper pattern, I have also discussed what are the high weightage uh, topics that you should be focusing on and uh, please please do not mug up audit, try and understand audit and uh, the other key to pass your examination is to practice a lot. Yes, you need a good writing practice to pass your audit paper. In case you are looking for any kind of assistance or you are looking for classes for your audit examination then uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I will be very happy to help you and guide you. And guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with more of your ACCA friends and I will be back with more such content. Till then take care. See you all.